Hello, I'm Tina. I'm a licensed realtor in Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm also licensed in South Carolina as well. Um, I wanted to go over and do a quick video about a question I received from Christina. Hi, Christina. Great question. She asked, what are the main tactics you use to get leads? Now, this is a great question. I'll tell you that some realtors don't want to tell you because they had to learn the hard way and they also don't want to share because they don't want anyone else to infringe on their business but i'm willing to share um i wrote a quick list so i wouldn't get off topic but i don't know how succinct i can be i'm going to try to get through the list in under 12 minutes so here we go the first the first way I got leads in the beginning was doing open houses. This can be a great way to get leads. Um, even if you don't have your own listings in the beginning, many don't, you can do open houses for your colleagues in your office or in your firm. I did open houses every single weekend and it just wasn't my thing. I mentioned in one of my other videos that open houses just was not my thing, but it can work for some people. You're getting people who, who are looking at houses who you know potentially want to buy that house or another house in the neighborhood. So you have their contact information and just be prepared to show them other houses in a range of different um, price ranges so that so that you can show them how much they can afford and what what else is in the area. So work that list, you have some contacts there. Another way that you can get leads is through your company. So my company used to send me leads. Most of them I'll tell you were dead end leads and they didn't lead anywhere, but occasionally it would be something that led to a sale so that's another way and it, it comes out of your commission i'm sure it's just part of the service that your firm offers and that's what they offer you for being with that firm so some do provide leads for you and that's something to consider when you join a firm um i would say that mailers are really helpful as well that's when you send a you know, I can help you buy a house or I can help you sell a house. For instance, I, I sold my house and I live in a rental right now. I sold a house to the leasing director in my office. So right away, he knew I was a realtor. You know, he knew me as a realtor initially. And then we built a, friend, we built a friendship over that. And then all of a sudden he said he wanted to buy a house. So I'm the, the great person that will help him buy a house because he knows me. Um, so that leads me into what Ryan Surgeon would say. He is a very well-known realtor in New York. He has his own show on Bravo. You might know who he is. Um, he says that he goes to coffee shops and meets five people a day. So just go out. I would say the, the best and easiest way to get sales is to meet people. Do not be a shy realtor. I had a friend who went out to restaurants, left a really good tip, and just told the waitress or waiter, hey, um, if you ever need to buy or sell a house, let me know. I can help you through the home buying process, through the home selling process. Here's my number. Here's my card. So everywhere you go, she did very well for herself. She would have, you know, four clients at a time, and that was on a slow season for her. Um, but just tell everyone you know that you're a realtor and have it be really organic. Uh, do what you love. It, church is also a great resource to network. And let's be real. I mean, church is a great networking tool if you go to church. If you don't go to church, you might want to start. <laughs> um, church and Bible study is a great way to get to know people in your community. And it's a great resource to find clients and leads um boomtown have you heard of it it's a lead generating system and i worked with a group for a very short time just getting started i was an assistant um when i first got my license and 
they used to spend all day, this team used to spend all day in the office calling the leads that they got from this, this lead generation generator system called Boomtown that's spelled B double O M town. Um, it can be successful. I've never used it before, but they did very well. Um, I don't know if I mentioned the flyers. So neighborhood walking, if you don't like walking, knocking on doors, that's fine. But during the day, um, you should create your, either your own, own PDFs, some flyers that just says your, maybe your recent sales and you know, that you can help them buy or sell their house, depending on your market and buy or sell a house and put it in their mailboxes. Make sure that you don't put it in their mailbox directly, but the mailbox underneath the mailbox so that you're, you're being legal because it is illegal to put a flyer in someone's mailbox. You should know that. Um, so yeah, and also I did Vistaprint, which is a service that actually does a whole lot. They do business cards, but they also do postcards and marketing materials, websites. And I created a mailer. They actually created a mailer for me and I approved it and then I bought it. I uploaded my list of everyone in my apartment rental community and I sent them a New Year's, um, Happy New Year's postcard and let them know that if they needed to, when the time is right to buy a house, they can come to me and ask me any questions. Here's my contact number. So that is a great, you know, I'm, I'm working where I am. I'm renting. So I'm going to talk to my people in my community and my rental community. That is a hot spot for me. It might not work for everyone else, but that's, you have to be creative. Just don't be shy. Um, with the group that I mentioned, they had a, a dedicated person on their team that all he did was go while they were calling their leads on the phones all day. He, this person would go out and deliver their flyers to the, their different neighborhoods and they would get so many calls from those flyers. It works sometimes initially, but sometimes it takes about six months of doing those flyers and you can get some really good business from the flyers. They don't have to be fancy. You can do them yourself or you can use a, a software or a company like I mentioned, Vistaprint. Um, other things that I can say. Once you get your business started, word of mouth is honestly the best. You don't have to buy a Zillow profile, but um, letting your customers know from the beginning that you work on referrals and that your reviews really are important to your business and that if they tell your fr their friends and family about you, if they had a great experience, let them know that, that you um, are in business and tell them about what a great job you did and get reviews on your Zillow profile so that um, people can research you on the internet, get your own website that just um, tells different keywords about real estate, write real estate articles. If you're a techie kind of person, you might have a, have a website that tells what you've done. I wrote an article for one of the big online magazines in Charlotte about the territory that I was working in at the time. And it was kind of like a, a new and upcoming uh, transity neighborhood that was really popular. And I wrote an article about it and I put it in my neighborhood that I lived in and I put it on the Facebook page, everything. So just get your name out there. When you Google my name, you'll see the article. So do that. Um, my neighborhood had a Facebook page, actually their own dedicated website and a Facebook page. And I put my business card on the website and that cost $10. And that also creates leads. Um, word of mouth, reviews. The last thing I'll say is you can work the expired um, leads once you get, if you do have your access to the MLS, if you do have your license already, um, you can look up the expireds. And as soon as they expire, you can contact them because that means that they didn't sell their house. You can um, examine why they didn't sell their house and think of creative ways of how you're going to help that person sell their house. So just work it every day, have confidence, 
Um, whatever you do, do it consistently and don't give up. I hope these tips have helped you. And if you have any more questions, contact me. I'm also on Instagram. Hit me up. My handle is Tina E. Whitaker. That's Tina E. W H I T T A K E R. I hope to see you there. And thank you for watching.